All right, in this section, uh, we are going to import data from S3 into DynamoDB automatically using data pipeline. So let's create a new pipeline first. Pipeline defines or pipeline connects two services together. Pipeline defines the time, you know, when it should run and all that. All right, so let's give this pipeline a name. All right, let's call it um, S3. to DynamoDB, DynamoDB, copy, uh, no description, and uh, we can build it using the template, pretty straightforward, export or right, import DynamoDB backup data from S3, all right, so this is going to require and um, input bucket and then the uh, DynamoDB table right in which region it's present and all that we can also enable logs all right and we can also architect by dragging and uh, dropping now that's beyond the scope let's understand creating a pipeline so the first thing it requires is an S3 is an S3 bucket so I have an S3 bucket right here and it has product catalog data in it. So that's the URL and I'll make sure that this URL is available to you in the resource section. And then the target DynamoDB table name. Right? We don't have a table yet. Right? There's no table. So let me create a table. Call it copy from S3. We can also call it as product catalog. I'm going to keep uh, the default values uh, to the most part. The partition key is going to be ID and uh, it's, it's a number. And the table is now created and it has no data in it as of now. So we have the bucket details. We also have the DynamoDB table name, which is right here. That's the name of the DynamoDB table. I, I don't want logging enabled. I'm fine with the default IAM roles. The pipeline has some validation warnings. Do you still want to activate? Error is what we need to be very concerned about. Warnings are fine. We'll wait for the pipeline to get activated and this task actually uses EMR uh, to copy the data from S3 to, to, to DynamoDB, all right? So all we need to do is just wait for some time till this EMR gets created and then it pulls data from S3 and pushes that data to DynamoDB. There are a few other things you could do with um, with this edit option now this is architecting it right so you can go to activities and anytime you know anytime a task is done if you want to get yourself notified let's say on fail or on success if you want to get notified uh, you know you can create a new action right create a new action and we can actually integrate sns alarms right simple notification service alarms to it so we know when the activity is over or we know if there is a failure but uh, I'm not going to do it here right that's that's beyond the scope but that's something you can uh, try All right, let's activate let's activate it now it's scheduled to run at a later time so let's activate it now Right, as you can see, the status is getting created. First, it needs to get created, and this is the first attempt. Right, so first it needs to get created, and then it uses the data in the configuration that we have given. It connects with the S3, pulls that data, pushes it to the DynamoDB table that we have inputted, inputted in the configuration to the DynamoDB table we have mentioned 
in the configuration. Right now, the status has changed to running, which means uh, the cluster, the EMR cluster is running. It's attempting to connect with S3, pull the data from it, and then push it to DynamoDB. As of now, it's doing a table load activity. Right, it says job completed. That means if we go to DynamoDB and do a refresh, we should be able to see we should be able to see the data because the pipeline has copied the data to DynamoDB. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. Share your feedback or queries in the comments section and we will reply to you as early as possible. Happy learning with LearnCarts.